We pass through it twice a year. I've likened it in the past to strapping on a blindfold and crossing an eight-lane highway and just hoping that you don't get hit by a truck. Uh, let it be a motorcycle at least rather than a truck. Um, and that's the, 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 the origin of the torrid meteor stream. Um, there's two parts of it, the beta torrids. Um, they're encountered in June and July. Uh, and then you have the uh, torrids in November, uh, which are sometimes called the Halloween fireworks. So we cross the torrid meteor stream in June, July, and we cross it in October, November uh, as well. Um, and it's, it's pretty clear, and again, this was touched on, I think, by Randall earlier, that the Tunguska event, this uh, cataclysmic airburst over Siberia in 1908, fell out of the Beta Torrids. That the 30th of June 1908, the date of that impact, is the peak of the Beta Torrids. It would be most extraordinary if this wasn't a torrid object. Uh, but it exploded in the atmosphere technically an airburst before reaching the ground. And, and this is the effect. It exploded in the sky at an altitude of about five to six kilometers. Date was the 30th of June. The object is thought to have been about 60 meters to 190 meters wide. That airburst was utterly cataclysmic. It, it flattened 80 million trees across an area of more than 2,000 square kilometers. That's an area larger than London. This thing, if this had if this had exploded in the sky over a major city, we would all be very concerned about the torrid meteor stream right now. It's just a lucky accident that it exploded over a completely uninhabited area of Siberia in 1908. If it had exploded over a major city, that whole city would have been wiped flat, it would be gone.